But yeah, I mean, I, f I feel like Dom's just been playing so well recently. I, he had like his, well, I didn't get to, how did he do last week? I mean, I feel like Dom's usually just like in top three most of the time, right? Yeah, there was like a two week period where he just wasn't playing at okay. his fullest. But it definitely feels like he's back. And what a great time to be back at. Because, you know, next week, last chance qualifier is a great way for Dom. Uh, to get making it into Summit. Oh, wow, was he that enough? Just, yes. Just, just like the shoved ram -ram. him. Just shoved him out. Yeah, I like I like Rich uh, going hard off stage there. I, I feel like we see most Min Min's. Is that enough? Oh! oh, that is not what I was expecting. He definitely was just like getting ready to DI the up B. I was looking for the up B. He like for sure was doing that. The and then Master was just like, nah, fair. I was ready for Master to take the money, but not the oh, life. Oh, not the fair. Not, oh. Okay. The, oh, oh, my. He did it anyways. He did it anyways. Ma what is this Mario? The double up air setup, too. I thought that was it for sure. Didn't get the, the spike hitbox, but what, able to pick it back up off stage. Rich Brown went from, like, a, such a commanding lead and, like, in literally in a span of 30 seconds just loses two stocks. <laughs> like, what just happened? Oh, no, the forward air is just too much. Yes, yes, we've seen this before. Please take his money. But not his life, not yet. Oh, See, wait, would that work? Can you flood during the, the during tether? the B return? No. Well, okay. uh, for, you're not gonna like flood someone from okay. like a tether grab to okay. ledge. Okay. Damn, that would be messed up. The Sounds Megawatt. like Mario to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rich can't really afford. Like, you you can try to go for an offstage play again, but wow, the landing up air into the dare, don't. That just looked like it's gonna KO. I mean, the dare was so high up, so. Yeah, it's just so much hit stun on Rich Brown, too. It just kind of like Min Min just floated in the air and was just waiting for it to happen. Yeah, wow. I mean, that was, uh, <laughs> that was a fast game. That was a very fast game, and what a momentum shift. Uh, that was, like, probably the hardest momentum shift I've seen in quite some time. That's Mario literally took the game away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And said, no, we can we're not playing that game. We're playing my game. Just edge guarded me. Well, I'm gonna edge guard you times two. All right, so he hit him with the he hit him with the, the school ground, school ground comebacks. Oh yeah. All right, so Rich gonna definitely be looking. I mean, both players definitely want to control the center stage here. Um, Nasmar trying to come in, get this falling aerials going. Yeah, I like how the both of these players are fighting to be able to really uh, position themselves underneath that platform to right. eliminate like falling nares, which you know both of these players want to do. Oh, <laughs> Master Mario. <laughs> Beware <laughs> of falling up air or any kind of up air anywhere. I just don't even want to be next to the ledge at this point. You get hit by center. You get hit at the center stage. Well, we're going. Uh, we're going on the platform ride. <laughs> and if you get hit by the edge of the stage, well, oh, you're getting oh, spiked. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I think at this point. Oh, no, he's just doing it. He's he just doing it. Something, something forward air. Master Mario <laughs> showing every single setup you, the Mario player, can do to get a forward air off stage. So far, we have up air, nair. What's the next one? Bear? Uh, forward air, forward air. Ooh, maybe, yeah, maybe we'll get a fair to fair setup. <laughs> oh, okay, Dash Dancing Master. Rich Brown is definitely feeling himself. He knows he's got he's to make some moves, got to make some changes. This is best of five? This is best of five, thank God. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> if, if this was a best of three, I, I don't know what I would be. This would be too much for a best of three. All right, Rich taking it slow here. Doesn't have to rush anything. Has the Dragon Breath. Masta slowly gets in here. Oh, gets the falling. Wow, Masta does a great job of getting these up airs to connect where he needs them to, just to get that like auto cancel on either like a platform or by the edge, mm -hmm. even just like positioning wise. Yeah, fantastic combo game. But I'm more impressed with his position, like being able to utilize the sour spot forward air, like comboing, it, but knowing that where your opponent's gonna go once you hit it so that you are already in position to either follow up or challenge their landing. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, this this Mario has been uh, definitely been a troublesome uh, troublesome fellow here for Rich. Uh, just the air mobility, right? The uh, Just being able to weave in and out. Uh, I feel like any character with air mobility against Min Min, your, Min Min's going to have to really respect in terms of like, okay, they can jump in here. If I swing anything on the ground, then that's like, you know, an opening that they can get a falling arrow, right? Just right, like right. the baseline min, min stuff. But the more air mobility, the more you have to respect that. True. Very, very true. Master Mario definitely seems like he knows that because 
He has continued to have this aggressive play style against Rich Brown and staying in his face and throwing out so many up airs, so many down airs. And then once Rich Brown gets a little bit punished or a little pressured, you see the grab up throw come up. All right, so PS2 is the pick here. Up and over, okay, here, there, there's the Ram Ram there. Tries to get the pivot grab, uses the down tilt to get out. Very scrappy. Both players kind of just like within their range here. Oh, uh oh, it's the thing again. Oh, it's the, the sour forward air. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Rich, please. Oh no. Yeah, just gonna get the back. You're gonna cash out. Oh, okay, all right, didn't happen. <laughs> okay, I mean, Rich uh, covering himself there gets a lot of damage on the way as well. The megawatt is out. Uses both Ooh. arms. Can you get the up B? You have the double jump. Yes. Gets back onto stage. Goes high with the megawatt in air. Oh, okay. Ooh. The dash back. Dash back megawatt. Allowing allowing Rich to, to give himself some space. I like the swing, too. Like, the swing into the uh, walk back right there from Rich. Really great, like, way to bait Master Mario and thinking, like, oh, hey, I swung. I'm vulnerable. Like, air drift hard. Like, hard drift Ooh. into me. And the high recovery is going to get punished. Rich. Finally, with some control slash lead in this uh, set. Yeah, very, very true. I mean, we, we did see a very strong start from Rich in game one. We saw how quickly that could turn. But Master Mario definitely feeling like the, the momentum slowed down for him as well. Ooh, just dash it away. And yeah, Master really wants this up smash and has taken quite a bit of damage for it. Yeah, Rich Brown controlling the space between him and him and Master Mario. If Master Mario just wasn't hit up with fairs, man. <laughs> it's right. it, it's gotten to, to that point. More fairs, man. Just, just, just keep doing it. He will eventually die if you land enough fairs. Many fairs. <laughs> Neutral air dodge down here. Yeah, Master definitely looking for like an easy grab, just a, a quick, you know, up throw there. Just get the uh, get the percentage rolling here. Just so the other like more threatful things are online, like falling up air or rising up air. Oh, oh. my goodness, the charge. Just enough charge to get Master Mario to go for that normal getup and right into the light. And as you can see, Rich Brown controlling the momentum of this game. It's really allowing him to control uh -oh. the space. It's making Master Mario, his approach, a little bit more difficult as well. All that's a lot way. of up airs. Yeah, that's a lot of up airs. That's a lot of damage. Doesn't get the KO, but... Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Good attack here. Rich needs to find some kind of control here. Has the stock lead, but for how long and how much damage have you tacked on so far? Oh, that's true. Master Mario's really only taken 32% on his last stock while he's also been doing the hurt to Rich Brown. Oh, okay. I like that. Just to walk away. Being a little bit too aggressive, that's fine. Just walk away. Walk away. Ooh, goes for the second smash attack there. Master Mario has the punish, but it's not enough for the KO offstage scenario here. I like... The up the eye maybe from Rich? Ooh, interesting. Even a lot using the arms, uh, it, the aerial attacks to put a little bit of float onto Min Min, avoiding the flood completely, but not being able to make it back. And yeah, maybe no double jump there. Tried to go for the uh, directional air dodge, but it was not enough. Can Master Mario? Oh. Can he? Uh, can he pull the stock out of the hat? I don't know. This hat's made of many things. We've seen Mario transform into many, many, many different shapes. But can Master Mario transform into a W? Oh, these up airs. If he one grab, one falling up air could do it here. Rich has to be very careful in terms of okay, okay. But we got Mega Watt in air. Mega Watt in air, yeah. Mega, Mega Watt in air. Super consistent at closing stuff out. I mean, Mega Watt has been so clutch for Rich Brown. We saw it here in this set. We saw it in this just this game three. We saw it in his previous set earlier in the night. Mega Watt Rich Brown. Yeah, I mean, Megawatt's such a such a great tool in general. So, yeah, I mean, just always going to stick with it. Very, It's so good for ledge trapping, too. Like, the ledge trapping, the, the Megawatt Nair as well, just something really meaty, just KOs. It combos at earlier percentages, too. But Rich Brown is finally on the board here. Master Mario's up 2-1, though. Let's see if Master Mario can close it out, or see if Rich Brown can uh, set up for a Game 5 situation here. Maybe the reverse 3-0 sweep. Reverse 3 0 sweep from Rich Brown would be really hype, but guess, pretty sure Master Mario's got some forward airs in his in his tools with uh, Rich Brown's names on it, so. Yeah, uh, oh wait. Oh, oh. oh try, yeah, he attack. Ooh. definitely tried to, no, nah, he, he he definitely wanted fair. Okay. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, wow, just rolls right through the pivot grab, and yeah, I mean, 
Mazda just kind of weaving around oh. and always finding his opening. Another one? For this first stock here. And his falling nares are landing under Rich Brown. It's giving him the opening he's been looking for, but I feel like these pesky dash attacks are just keep catching him at the ledge. Yeah, Rich has been going for a lot of grabs as well, whether it be just regular standing grab or pivot grab. Um, Mazda definitely abusing that. Mazda thought he was going to go to the right there with that tech chase. Oh, stalling out the, below the ledge for just enough. No up Waiting smash. for the laser. Okay, there's a flood. There's a flood. There's the stall. Where's the double jump? Oh, just going to keep it real safe. Tries to get the back air. Oh, oh. back air to spot dodge to, uh, to up smash. I caught you, Master Mario. That, <laughs> that is a Wi-Fi classic. I mean, it worked on Charlie. You I mean, it's, it's still a good option. You, you, can't, you can't just, blame him for using it. I just think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely the I'm trying to call out your, your spot dodge. Ooh. Going so far deep. Interesting it wasn't there, but he was probably expecting a directional air dodge. Oh, the pivot grab here. Rich is surviving and really making it count. Goes for the edge guard and gets it? What? Question mark? Uh, Forcing Master Mario to fast fall just to avoid the laser, which we have seen Rich Brown set up quite Right, okay his pressure forced him yeah. to SD the stock. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't an SD when Rich Brown forced him to SD. Right, exactly. <laughs> like, that's not how SDs work. <laughs> okay, there's the up throw into the down air. Picking up some damage along the way as well. Oh, wait a minute. This is going to be... Oh. oh, okay. Sour, sour forward air. Wait. Oh, oh, oh he was going for back air. See, if that was a forward air. Forward air, nair, bear, anything at that point. Did you snipe the jump? Yes, you did. The first oh, one didn't, but oh. the second one did. Master Mario is hitting these edge guards on the Min Min. And that puts Rich Brown... On what could be his last stock in this winner side of this tournament? Yeah, jumping around, Rich trying to throw some of these uh, these tilts or smash attacks more like in the air, but uh, Master Mario definitely uh, not being too affected by this. Still attacking on a good a percent. Now, we saw Master Mario just go for like the up throw. Typically, we see like a down air after that, but he's he's comfortable going for these up airs because he knows one up air. That's not one up air he's landing. That's five up airs. Yeah. Oh, there's no double jump. Can Rich get it? No, Rich. I think Rich also used the double jump there. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, the little delay on the oh, nair. Oh. The, oh, the slight delay on the nair was so good and was able to set up the combo on the right side. Master Mario clutching it out. Took his money.